and talked about him in my book or really anywhere. Even though Willie Boy had a tremendous story. So I thought about it and all the other messages that I got and wanted a story uh, about it, serious story. So I thought I would uh, tell the story about Willie Boy Johnson. He was a Native American Indian who was with the Mafia. I heard of him in the streets. A real tough guy. Very, very tough with his hands and with a gun. Did a lot of work. Work meaning a lot of hits. I met him one day when uh, I went to John Gotti's club. And Willie Boy Johnson was there. Came over. We met and we shook hands and he says, Sammy, he says, you're with the old man Tato, right? Yeah. He says, we have a history, very, very similar history. He said, I was originally with the Colombo family. He said, I did a lot of things and things got sour over there and I wound up leaving. I got transferred over to uh, the Gambino family. And I was with the old man, Tyler Orello, just like you were. He says, a great guy. I says, I love the guy. Really, really a great guy. He says, you know, when I went there, he says, he calmed me down. Taught me, you know, violence should be used as a last resort. And that's exactly what Tyler told me. It was incredible. I, I, feel, I felt like I was listening to my own story. We got along really, really good. And uh, we left. Everything went well. Later on, John Gotti and Willie Boy Johnson got arrested on the same case. It was found out that he was a confidential informant for quite a while. The prosecutors are not supposed to give this up. The government and the prosecutor was arguing. The prosecutor just did what she wanted to do. And she told the judge in open court that Willie Boy Johnson was a confidential informant and she intended to use him on this trial. The FBI was fuming about this. It was a breach of their agreements with people. Willie Boy was fuming, and he basically turned on the government. He refused to cooperate, and he was going to go on trial and sit next to John at the trial. But in the prison where they were being held, they had to put him what they call behind the glass. He was on the same floor as John in the same place, but in his tier, there was plexiglass going across. You couldn't get at him, you couldn't do anything, but you could still see him, and you could still talk to him. John approached him and spoke with him and told him, I'm going to give you an oath on my dead son. If you stay strong, don't cooperate, I'll guarantee you won't be killed. You, ever, you can't come around again. You can never come back in fold with the mob. But I give you my word, you'll never be killed. Now at that time, John's youngest son was killed in a car accident. And uh, he would live up to that oath. That's what everybody believed at that time. Willie Boy did screw up the entire trial and uh, things came out that were peculiar. The, the FBI has these things, they take notes, they call them 302s. In the 302s, Willie Boy never cooperated against anyone in the Mafia except for John Gotti. The lawyers even told John, it seems like he has such a hatred for you. 
All the hits he did, all the illegal stuff he did, he never ratted on anybody, set anybody up while he's walking around with a wire. It was just John. John abused him because he was a Native American Indian and it must have really got to him being joked with and ridiculed about being a Native American Indian or whatever. But he hated John, it was clear as a bell to the lawyers and to everybody. We all found that a little strange. But like I said, he screwed up the government's case and they won. Willie Boy, John, they were all found in that case not guilty. They came back out and Willie Boy got a job. He was an engineer. They used to operate the cranes in construction and stuff like that. That kind of an engineer. He used to a crane operator. And uh, he went back to work. He trusted John's word. I'll never forget, the Colombo family reached out to us, to John Gotti, and said, what are you waiting for? This guy's done a lot of things. He's got to go. I kind of agreed with that in a way, but I told John, you gave your word on your son's grave, so you have to live up to that. Tell them he didn't rat he's on anybody, he didn't do anything, and we don't believe he's going to do anything. John is going to live up to his word. He told me, mind your fucking business. I'm the boss. I backed up. I, I, I only meant that in a, in a good way to back him to not do the hit. But I shut up. He's the boss. He gave the hit to a guy named Eddie Lino. The monster Angus Thick Burger is tempting you with sizzling bacon and one third pound Angus beef patties. Get close to the screen. Focus, unfocus. Looks like you'll do anything for the monster. The monster Angus Thick Burger at Hardee's. Feed your happy. Type 2 diabetes isn't easy, but if you're the type to try hard to lower A1C, Stegler. Who is a very, very powerful drug dealer. Him and his right-hand man, Fat Sally, were going to get the hit. They got made after Castellano was gone. Castellano and Gambino would never make these guys. They were just that heavy into drugs, heroin, and everything. So they would have never got made, but we made them. John wanted them made. He knew them good. They were tough guys. They were powerful. They had plenty of money. They got made. Fat Sally, Eddie Lino's right-hand man, was actually one of the shooters on the Castellano hit. So these four are for real gangsters. And uh, they turned around and they were friendly with a guy named Tommy Karate. He was a made guy in the Bonanno family. Tommy Karate was extremely dangerous. They actually did a book about him and called him The Butcher. Another extremely dangerous guy. They went to him and were going to use him on the hit, unbeknownst to John and myself. They caught Willie Boy Johnson on the way to work one day, and they shot him 14, 15 times. I mean, they just massacred him. It was a little shocking to a lot of people that around John who knew he gave this promise. It seemed like John didn't keep too many promises. I found that out years later. Loyalty wasn't one of his strong suits, I guess. Not if you heard this. If you like this video, 